good morning students i hope you all are well yesterday we discussed the general equation of parabola and i explained the tracing of this parabola when the equation was given in general form you were given homework for this type of situation today we will discuss one more example we will solve it by that method that we have already discussed and one alternative also so you have you will have the choice for this particular type of question let us continue given by x square plus 2xy plus y square minus 6x minus 2y plus 4z trace the curve the name of the curve is not given but we know that this is the second degree equation it means either it will give you pair of lines or circle or parabola or ellipse or hyperbola we use one technique i have already explained we say the second degree terms taken all together means this one this is x plus y whole square means this is perfect square means the condition holds x square equals to no need to calculate when this is a perfect square x plus y whole square it is perfect square that means x square equals to ab 99% this is parabola why not 100 because we have not calculate delta so if we calculate delta here then you will find delta is not You have to calculate. So delta is not equal to zero with x square equals to a b. Therefore, the given curve is parabola. Given curve is parabola. Now we trace it. Yesterday I explained how to reduce the general equation into the standard equation that is. y square equals to 4ax here it is in such a way that this term you see and this term y equals to 0 is here x equals to 0 is here and these two lines are perpendicular so we rewrite this equation in such a way that we have this type of situation so we can convert it into y square equals to 4ax this i have already explained in the previous video so let us see right here given that x square plus 2x square plus y square minus 6x minus 2y plus 4 equals to 0 the delta is not equal to 0 x square equals to ab so the given curve is parabola confirm the equation is rewritten as x plus y whole square equals to 6x plus 2y minus 4 now here we introduce lambda in such a way that this part and this part becomes a perpendicular so i will write the steps we know that x plus y plus lambda whole square So it is x plus y whole square plus two 
लैमडा इंटू एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस लैमडा स्क्वायर एक्स प्लस वाई होल स्क्वायर वी राइट फ्रॉम इक्वेशन नंबर वन तो इट इज सिक्स एक्स प्लस टू वन माइनस फोर प्लस टू लैमडा इंटू एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस लैमडा स्क्वायर इट इज दिस This implies x plus y plus lambda whole square equals to. Here it is two, and this side x is common, so it is three plus lambda. So it is six x. Here it is six x, and this is two lambda x. Fine, and plus it is two y and two lambda. So it is two common. So it is one plus lambda into one. Plus lambda square minus four. Look at this part and this part. Just like here it is, this one and this one. So these two must be perpendicular, so right? On choosing lambda in such a way that The lines x plus y plus lambda equals to zero and two times p plus lambda into x plus two times one plus lambda into y plus lambda square minus four equals to zero are perpendicular. Now these two lines are perpendicular. It means m1 m2 equals to minus one. So what is the slope of this line? Here it is minus one. What is the slope of here? It is minus two times three plus lambda upon two times one plus lambda equals to minus one. When you simplify this, you will find lambda equals to minus two. You can verify this. Now we place the value of this lambda in this equation. Suppose this is equation number two. Therefore, two becomes. It is x plus y minus two whole square equals to. When we simplify this one, then we will find it is two x three minus two is one. Then it is minus yes. It is minus two y. And lambda this will be zero. So we find this x plus y minus two whole square equals to two times of x minus y. It is this. Now remember, here this part that is x plus y minus two equals to zero and x minus y equals to zero both are perpendicular. Its slope is one and its slope is minus one. But remember that this place we cannot write this equation as y square equals to four x because it should be reduced into length of perpendicular. So root a square plus b square means a is one, b is one. Here a is one, b is minus one. But root a square plus b square will be root two. So x plus y minus two whole square. X plus y minus two upon root two. We introduce this. This two times x minus y upon root two. This part and this part is this term must be identical. Now we balance the constant. Here it is root two whole square. So this is two here. So here I write root two. So root two into root two will be two, and here it is two. So this is x plus y minus two upon Root two whole square equals to root two times x minus y upon root two. Now at this place we can write this is y square equals to four t x, where capital x is x minus y upon root two, 
capital Y is x plus y minus 2 upon root 2 and 4a is root 2. As I explained, we can find all the five parameters by writing the standard part of this one. So the first that is vertex, vertex that means says and this is 0 comma 0 means capital X 0, capital Y 0, capital X 0, capital Y 0. So when you simplify this one, we find the coordinates of vertex. Here we find x is 1, y is 1, so vertex is 1 comma, this point is here. So you just simplify this yourself. Then we find focus. A comma 0, so capital X is A, capital Y 0, capital X is this one and capital Y was this, capital X is this. So when we simplify this one on solving, we find x equals to 5 by 4 and y equals to 3 by 4. Therefore, focus is 5 by 4 comma 3 by 4. This we have to calculate as usual, as I explained yesterday and if you don't know then you just revise the previous video again and again. This is second point. Third, axis. Axis means y equals to 0 and y equals to 0 means you will find x plus y minus 2 equals to 0. So, then four directrix capital X equals to minus A capital X means X minus Y upon root 2 equals to minus A. A means root 2 upon 4. Root 2 upon 4. So this is X minus 1 plus 1 by 2 equals to 0. This is the equation of directrix. And the last point that is the fifth one that is length of that spectrum, nabi lambi lambi that is modulus of 4a and 4a is root 2. So this is Nabilam Kilambai. Now you say we have the vertex 1 comma 1, then the focus, then axis, then direct rays and length of flat sector. So we use all the things, mostly we use the vertex and or focus, then axis and we draw the parabola. Vertex is uh, one comma one. X is x plus y minus two equals to zero. So well, this is uh, two here. It also pass through this point. Directrix x minus y plus 1 by 2 equals to 0. So if y equals to 0, then x is minus half. Now 1, so here it is. This is minus half. And x is 0, then y is plus half. Y is plus half. Mm. Yes. We join these two points and you remember. Axis and directrix both are perpendicular. Dono lumbar to the or yeah for lumbar to the This comes of diagram for this. We'll put three chandra. This is not. 
This is the vortex. This is directrix. This line is axis. This is vortex. Parabola always opens towards the focus, not towards the directrix. So it will be like this. Focus, if you remember, the x coordinate of focus was 5 by 4. 5 by 4 means uh, 1 plus something. 1 plus, so here it is 1, that means somewhere it is. Vertex focus and this point, so this point, this distance and this distance must be equal, if you remember it. Now the parabola will turn like this. So 100% it will intersect this line, that means x axis. That means y equals to 0. So it is better to find these two points. So equation of parabola was x square plus x y, 2x y plus y square minus 6x minus 2y plus 4 equals to 0. So y equals to 0. x square minus 6x. x y equals to 0. Uh, this is x square, 0, 0, minus 6x plus 4 equals to 0. This you write x square minus 6x plus 9. I hope 9 mm -hmm. by yes. This is x minus 3 whole square equals to 5. So x minus 3 equals to root 5. It plus minus sign. So x is 3 plus root 5 and 3 minus. Now the question is 3 plus root 5 means. means this is positive and root 5 2 point something is also positive means both the x coordinates are positive that means it will intersect the positive part of x axis or it is 3 plus root 5 means something so here it is it will intersect like this so this is the tracing of this particular parabola कल आज नहीं करेंगे इसको कल इस क्वेश्चन को हम अल्टरनेटिव मेथड से सॉल्व करेंगे और उसमें जो पैराबोला की डेफिनेशन है उसमें फोकस को एज्यूम करके और फिर उसकी इक्वेशन को कैलकुलेट करेंगे थैंक यू वेरी मच यदि आपको डिफिकल्टीज हो समझ में नहीं आ रहा हो तो अपन कमेंट्स बॉक्स में जरूर कमेंट लिखिएगा थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच जय हिंद